he's the real deal. If you like me, you're gonna love Mike. Mike is basically the male version of me. He's like me. If I was a guy, I'd be Mike Hill. He's a really great guy, and I feel so lucky and blessed that I actually met him, to be honest, because I was like, oh yeah, I'll probably meet somebody one day, but I never thought like I'd meet like the guy, and I would even ever be thinking about getting married again. And with Mike, it's not even like we put like a time line on it. It just, it just feels normal to talk about our future together because we just love each other so much. Remember the counter? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I remember the counter. Boom, what you remember about the counter? Um, mm. it's, a, it's a strong it's counter. <laughs> it's very sturdy. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah. What happened on the counter? <laughs> I gave him the keys to Lake Bailey some months ago, and he just closed on his house in LA in uh, Porter Ranch, and I was, yes, uh, presented with my own set of keys as well. I like to call it Beverly Chills, because that's, you know, a little hashtag chill. I think I'm probably the most compatible with Mike. Like, Lynn and I are like almost like brother and sister at this point. Peter and I definitely bumped heads a lot, so we, you know, we were compatible, but we were not as compatible, for sure. If I can't make it with Mike Hill, that I'm just meant to be single <laughs> the rest of my life because he just gives me like a comfortability. I just can't explain. You know, I'm at a point in my life where I'm just really all about peace. And he honestly, when I see him, when he's around, when I'm at his place, when he's at my place, like literally the stress just leaves my body. He just knows how to make me feel. It's like an energy thing. Like we really are just pretty connected.